Right. So, that's actually really hardened. So I've got some barbed wire and some pot bandage. And I'm creating this like sculpture. So what I've done is like I've kind of pushed and bent and twisted this like wiring and um, it's really like flexible. So I've created this thing where it's like, not really sure what it is or if you can tell, but there's this area that really dips in. And I was thinking with the area that dips in, I was gonna create a smaller little sculpture that can connect to that to sew some form of, un what's it called? U not utility, unity, sorry. Um, I don't know where I got the small little piece, but, oh, here it is. Yeah, I'll, like, mould it into place. Um, again, it's really, like, flexible, so you can just dent it in with your fingers, your thumb. Um, but I was thinking that could be placed right there. But, yeah, essentially what I'm doing is I'm just going in with the bandage, wetting it with some um, some water, and going around... Um, just like moistening it so it kind of uh, moulds into place. It dries pretty quickly, I'm surprised. Yeah, I got this off of Amazon, so it is pretty good stuff. Yeah, it seems to dry pretty quickly. Um, Cat's just like whipped open the whole door. Hold on, let me close it quickly. But yeah, so we're just gonna wrap it all around, uh, wait for it to dry and then go from there. I'm not sure whether I'll paint it or I'll um, coat it with more like bandages or whether I'll just add actual plaster on top just to close those gaps because there's a lot of holes. When you go over the holes um, of the bandage um, with some water, the holes start to disintegrate and it just looks a lot better and less tacky. So I'm kind of going in with my brush and just really going into those spaces. Yeah, no, it looks all right, to be honest. So, yeah. I was say, so what month are we in? We're in May. So, it is getting warmer in London. Um, actually, you no. Know, Sorry, I'll take that back. You get one day where it's like super warm and you're like, I need a jacket. And then another day where you're like a bit of cold and you're like layers upon layers upon layers. Like it's mad. Um, what was it called? Uh, last week, I believe it was on Thursday, um, we had thunder and that was something I, I really wasn't expecting. I thought there was like, the end, the world was sort of ending or something. But well, yeah, that was pretty scary. Um, and today, same, it was mediocre, like it was a little bit chilly, but um, it was like bearable, you know. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dunk in the water because that actually will save me time. And I know you. Yeah, I think this method is way easier. If I just go in 
with a uh, bandage, dunk it in the water, and then every every corner for it is like completely moist. So then I can just apply it straight to the wire. And then Actually, going in with the fingers actually is quite useful because then you blend in the bandages together because obviously I've been cutting them. It's looking good. I'm not sure if it's a good idea to top the plaster bandages with soft plaster that I've got just lying around or if that will ruin it. I mean it's the same thing ideally. I think it should be fine it's just the fact that there's a lot of holes um, in the bandages and like I'm using my hands but I just feel like it might take a longer time to do whereas if I just use a brush and make um, a concoction of like water and plaster then I, it might take a quicker process you know I mean I don't mind doing it it's actually quite fun the fact that I'm like getting into it and I'm using my hands but also time management is something I'm trying to work on It is looking quite good, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, really good. I'm gonna carefully pick this up. So this is what I got. It always looks like a little bit of a croissant. Sorry, I don't know why I said it like that. Um it's a little bit like a croissant. Oh shit, it's dripping. Also, I got my skirt dirty, but it's okay. But yeah, this is kind of how it's looking. It's a little bit too like rough on the surfaces for me. Like I was hoping for it to be completely carved out. But I think it's 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 all right. Laptop's dead. Phone is about to die. But I'm just gonna show you guys quickly what we have. So again, the croissant. I'm calling it the croissant. Um, it's a very 3D dimension sculpture. You can even put in a, a stretch. Sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm literally crazy. But yeah, this is how it's going. It needs some work because it is rough around the edges. It's still a bit rough around the edges what we might actually do is we're going to make a concoction of plaster you see this is being my best friend not so bad i mean she spilled it everywhere but yeah so this is kind of being my best day the past few hours um we're just going to go over with some of this plaster onto the bandages just to close up those gaps and pull everything together. I don't know, instantly you can already see this is going quite well. 
Um, well, I can see you can't. But no, it's, it's all right. I reckon when it's all coated, it will look a little bit more better. But I was just thinking, like, imagine putting this on an area of the body and manipulating that into creating like shapes and silhouettes. I think it might actually look great. This would have been something I should have done before I created my final lineup because I've already created my final lineup for my project that I'm doing. Um, or like plastering and casting. So the fact that I'm doing this after the lineup is going to be quite tricky to come up with something where um, this all kind of relates. Uh, but yeah, because initially the idea was that I'd make these sculptures and then place it on different areas of the bodies, create collage development and drawings and photographs from this um, and go from there. But yeah, I mean, things change, you know, so you kind of just got to keep going. I feel like today I was quite productive because I got up to other things, um, but you know, I, I could maybe fit in an extra um, task of making another of these sculptures in a different shape. Just being quite rough with it because I know I'm a bit of a perfectionist. Perfectionist. But in this, in this position that I'm in, having one day off a week and next week having none, you know, you gotta keep moving. So, yeah, to be fair, again, it's looking instantly better. I'm quite pleased with that. <laughs> Alexa. Play similar music to uh, Olivia Dean. Do you know when it comes to that certain, uh, like certain time of the day where you're so tired, where you just not Olivia. Ex pop me. Olivia Rodriguez or something. I think that's an American artist. I'm fine. I think I'll pass them. <laughs> It's been a few hours now and it seems to be pretty complete. There's a lot of texture going on. Uh, I went over with plaster and painted on top and yeah, I'm pretty happy. It's very damp, so it's gonna have to dry. It's gonna air dry it. Um, but now I'm thinking about it. I could also use the hair dryer again because that was a really quick process. And now what I'm gonna do this is when it dries, I'm gonna stick it on a part of the body, attach it. Um, off on my friend and take loads of photographs and print it out and draw and develop and get ideas so that's kind of the process taking a very artistic approach um, but yeah it's really really messy but again I'm no specialist and it's all just for me to get more experimental artistic you know side of you out whilst having fun well with having fun because that's what's the whole point um but yeah so i made two pieces today one with the balloons and one with that um i think i'm gonna try and make another one because that'll be really good if i can get three done uh whilst i'm off today so i've got some leftover of this i'm now just gonna mold it into place and find the right balance so that one's very asymmetrical i might make one that's a little bit more symmetrical and it's a bit of a circle to relate back to maria bartsova's work it's a name i can't say bart bartsova but yeah so if i just like compress it move it around mold it um, yeah I'm pretty happy with that 
eat, eat. But yeah, I'm gonna carry on doing that, but I just thought I'd give you a, give you an update. Um, and yeah, maybe you guys can have a go. Um, but yeah, no, it was quite fun. I just thought I'd experiment and I've been like encouraging myself to do it for so long, but I actually finally got to sit down and focus on that, which has been nice. So yeah, I think I'm going to put a movie on and continue on with this. And yeah, we'll see how far I get to.